This is the Command Your Brand podcast, where we talk to world changers, visionaries, and founders, people that are doing big things and changing this planet in a positive way. We're learning their stories, techniques, and exactly what you need to know so that you can do things in a big way. The time is now. Get ready to take command of your brand. Hello and welcome back to the latest episode of the Command Your Brand podcast. I'm your host, Jeremy Slate, and on this show, we interview visionary founders and people that are doing incredible things. Our guest today is Eileen Durfee. She's a former nuclear power plant engineer, which I was like, wow, that's definitely somebody that's a lot smarter than me. And she's somebody that encountered some health problems due to a lot of the toxic things in her environment. So she actually started a business to detoxify her own body. And because of that, she's been able to help a lot more people with what she's discovered. So we're going to talk a lot about surprisingly about phototherapy and sauna therapy, which I didn't know a ton about and I learned a lot about in this episode. We're going to talk about the coffee enema, what that is and how it works, and just a lot of the toxic things you may have in your body you may not even know about. So Eileen, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Well, thanks, Jeremy. I wanted to talk a little bit about your story because the thing I find very interesting is a lot of what you do now in life was actually created by solving your own problems you had going on. Uh, you have an incredible background working in a nuclear power plant, you can correct me if I'm wrong. So tell me, I guess, how did you go from that point to actually you know, where you are in the health space now? Yeah, basically, I became allergic to everything. My hair was falling out. It had psoriasis all over my body. I just couldn't think, joint pain, couldn't sleep, anxiety. I mean, I had all these issues, but that's not where my illness began. I mean, when I was born, I mean, I know the doctor grabbed me with forceps and everything else, but my hips were twisted. I had to wear special shoes. I had leg pain. The doctors never figured it out. And then I grew nine inches in three months. Oh my talk gosh. About, talk about back pain. And the chiropractor I went to threw a lift in my shoe. I mean, that really didn't fix the problem. And then I was ran over by a car when I was walking in a parking lot and I couldn't even lift my arms, hurt to breathe. And I ran across a chiropractor, a 93 year old chiropractor says, oh, you need to go to Dr. Sugar." And so I got into rehabilitative exercises that dealt with the shape of the spine. But then, you know, I think I was 19 and I got a silver amalgam filling in my mouth and I just was sick and I became allergic to everything. And it was just terrible, unbearable. I mean, you know, to be on, I mean, doctors put me on antihistamines that made you sleepy, that, you know, put you on antibiotics all the time. Cause then, you know, I know I had candida now, but back then, you know, so I had all the leaky gut I had. I was so bad at one time that I couldn't eat the same food within 72 hours because I would wow. become allergic to it even if I wasn't. Oh my gosh. So I never ate anything, you know, so I came across the yeast connection. So I did that diet. I mean, I never ate anything in a can or a bottle. Everything was fresh, prepared, rotated. I was on a low carb diet. I mean, I mean, I ate paleo before paleo existed. And, you know, it just seemed like for a point in time, I mean, I had to carry an EpiPen because I wasn't allergic to grasses and pollens and everything like that. I was allergic to like chemicals and foods. Mm. And so my lungs would close up literally life threatening. Wow. If my life wife has anything with MSG in it, she has a really weird reaction. It's interesting, like how sensitive you can be to these things. Yeah. And so, I mean, actually, my cousin told me that, you know, the movie that was about this kid who lived in a bubble is a relative of ours, <laughs> so, <laughs> the, you know, just the tendency, you know, in the genes. But so, I mean, I feel like I'm in my fourth life in this life. You know, first I was in real estate, rentals, land development, built and, 
you know, this was after the nuclear power plant industry was mothballed and, you know, but being around all those welding fumes and just all these things, my body was just so toxic. And, you know, when you're toxic, you know, and you don't have the right minerals, your body will use that junk to survive. And so the more that you have in your body, the less and less normal function you have. And so I got into even electronic gizmos. I have the multiple wave oscillator that we use in the 1920s. It was developed by Lakowski and Tesla helped him. And I have Rife machines and I have all these zappers and everything. And I got to the point where I didn't have joint pain. I could sleep. I was controlling so much of this stuff besides the diets that I was trying and doing. And, but I just got so, it's just like refusing to replace your car battery, you know, and carrying around jumper cables all the time or refusing (laughs) to replace your alternator. You know, it's like just something was missing. And so I got into minerals and detox and then realized when you start detoxing, you can have every imaginable symptom possible. So, you know, people are recommending, you know, saunas and pure air and drinking ozonated water and all this kind of stuff. And I had tried one of those things where you put the thing in the bucket of water and you put your feet in it and it like, I think it's the ion. ion ion, Yeah. Yes, I had tried I had one of those. those too, and I threw them away because I learned <laughs> later that the electromagnetic damage to the body and they strip the bad stuff with the good. It's non-discriminatory. Mm. So then you create further imbalances. I mean, I went back to school, got a diploma in nutritional balancing science. So I'm trained in, you know, using hair analysis to detoxify and manipulate body chemistry and So then when I started that program, your body freely gives up the junk, man, and you can just have some horrific detox reactions. So with my background of nuclear power plant, auditing, engineering, training people how to read blueprints, my dad being a machinist, I dream and I see things in like blueprint. And so it's just like when I had, I'm a gizmo woman, man. How many people buy gizmos and half of them are in their garages and they never use them, right? I think we get each other, Eileen. My father's been an engineer for like, you know, 40 something years. And I'm one of those people that like, I can be driving and you can be on the phone with me telling me about your computer problem. And I could tell you where the drop down menu is, what's the next step in the drop down menu. So I feel like we get each other. <laughs> <laughs> so basically... I would see the better widget because bottom line, if it's not affordable, if it's not non-toxic, and if you can't integrate it into your life to use it, it's no good. So Mm -hmm. then I started creating, you know, filing patents. You know, I have 10 patents, seven of them are utility patents for, you know, the best new generation thing to help our body. And so I had transitioned from building 12 houses a year and running construction crews and doing land development to managing nonprofit corporations. And so I started working for myself like in 2008. And then I had an opportunity to move back to my hometown and I had this big building. It's like, what am I going to do? Just property management? So then I started buying all these gizmos and gadgets and kind of had like a little detox spa therapy thing. And one thing led to another. I quit that. And now I, you know, ship products in 91 countries in the world and have nine employees. And, you know, it's just I'm playing now. And the satisfaction is I get to help people that were depilitated. I mean, they couldn't function, no joy in their life. So I'm finally doing what I was created to do. (laughs) But that's the whole transition, you know, out of solving my own problems and being at 59. You know, man, I'm, I'm flexible. I don't have pain in my body. I mean, I got, you know, good energy and, you know, life is good. Well, I guess like looking at it then, I'm curious, like you said, you tried all these different things, you had all these different processes, you built your own and, you know, created patented products. I guess like knowing what you know now, what like protocol should most people go through when it looks at detoxification? Like what, you know, there's a lot of different things you've looked at and you've worked with. What works the best then in what sequence? Well, 
I always tell people, you know, I'm a big advocate of not going too fast on detox Mm -hmm. because, you know, detox can create stress. And that's the whole root of all this is adrenal gland stress, not having adaptive energy. And then your body's going to dump minerals, accumulate toxins and so on and so forth. So I think an assessment with the hair analysis and monitoring with the hair analysis to determine if what you're doing is helpful or if that's what's causing your joint pain or keeping you awake, you know, and then near infrared sauna therapy is huge because the skin is the largest elimination organ in the body. And if you can do something that'll cause your mitochondria to produce ATP, you know, after all, you know, how many people's digestion are compromised and we eat food to get energy, you know, and so we can hack that, you know, another thing is, you know, adequate minerals. There's a product that I have that's 20% minerals, like compared Mm -hmm. to Himalayan salt has one part per million magnesium. This has 6,800 parts per million magnesium. Wow. Plus, it has a 10.72 pH and a negative charge. So if anybody's familiar with Dr. Polak's work about the fourth phase of water, you know, so before you jump into sauna, do a little bit of this healthy mineral complex, and then outside of your cells or alkaline with the negative charge, so the density changes in the cells begin to open up and protons flood in. So the heroes inside the cells, the lysosomes can clean up molecular debris. And then the differential between the alkaline outside environment and acidic in generates hydroelectricity. So you get hydroelectricity and it just so happens that that hydration and that expansion of that energy storing water expands when you shine 3000 nanometers of light on it. So with the (laughs) infrared bulbs, you know, so why do people feel so good in my invention that blocks light from traveling at the speed of light? So it bounces and reabsorbs into your skin to make more ADP, to make more hydroelectricity, to actually hydrate you when you're a sauna. And, and, you know, and the other thing is, is we want to take advantage of deeper circulation. That's huge, you know, sedentary lifestyles, you know, people with their body composition one, three, or, you know, overweight. And so we've got some circulation issues. And with the incandescent bulb, near infrared sauna, it's hot in there. Yeah, especially with my R12 radiant tent panels, you know, I got biohackers in the hot yoga studio with two lamps. They get it 190 degrees in there, like in minutes. Oh my gosh. You don't have to have it that hot, you know, without a preheat, it's 120 degrees, but your body will shunt blood towards the lights, Mm -hmm. you know, because it's a response. It's like, okay, it's hot. So we're going to circulate blood there, vasculate the tissues, and then water's going to escape the bloodstream to sweat, to cool you down. So mm-hmm. we teach people wipe that sweat down is it's weird. When you get in my sauna, you'll be sweating on one side of your body first. <laughs> it's so weird. So then you rotate. What does that do? The body vigorously shunts blood the opposite direction. So it's like twice the circulation effect. So it's almost like pulling so, it. Yeah. Yeah. And so that is huge, you know, and then movement What movement does when you're in infrared, you know, light, even without being in a sauna is huge. They've done studies in Germany. Well, it opens up the capillaries and it gets a lot of the blood flow moving around and things like that. Yeah. And then our body has an overall metabolism, but fat cells have a slower metabolism, right? Mm -hmm. So you shine the light on there and it'll begin to burn that fat for energy And it'll contour your body when you're in here, when the phototherapy can't escape and it's just absorbing into your cells. So, you know, it's just like people go, well, how do you have time for all this? Well, you know, I do a daily near infrared sauna, you know, with my alkaline minerals for that hydration and that expansion of the easy water. So I can get hydroelectric energy and I do a coffee enema. I mean, it's like if somebody said, I lean, I'm only going to do one thing for my health. I'm not going to change anything else. What would you do? I would say, okay, 
a daily coffee enema and I give you the two week challenge. And then I tell them all the problems and all the stuff they're going to go through and they're not going to be able to hold it. It's going to go everywhere. It's going to be a mess and all this kind of stuff. But you know, it sells itself. And, you know, it's been around for thousands of years, but I really like the story and the research that was behind when Hitler's army was cut off from supplies. They didn't have painkillers and anesthesia, yet they were operating on soldiers. And one of these nurses said, well, you know, that coffee is keeping the doctor going 24-7. So the doctor always ordered a plain water enema, but the nurses started throwing coffee in the enema. And lo and behold, their pain was dramatically less. It became so famous that three universities. Is that because there's less filtration when it comes in through that part of the body or or what causes it to be so powerful? The caffeine and the palmitic acid in coffee, when it's in, you know, the rectum, sigmoid, the lower area, that's a membrane. And you know, there's the portal vein, what it's called. And it looks like if you just pulled up a tomato plant, all those roots Mm -hmm. that the veins are all along the intestinal section Mm -hmm. to send nutrients and toxins and everything up to the liver. So what happens with the caffeine and the palmitic acid is it goes up the portal vein and it dilates the bile ducts in the liver. Mm -hmm. And what that does is it causes a huge increase in bile production, which then can trap heavy metals, change the pH of the intestinal tract. But also what it does is it increases glutathione production 600%. How many Mm. people are out there buying glutathione and taking it orally Mm -hmm. when you're going to have a much better bioavailable form from doing a coffee enema? It's free other than the coffee, just you know, instead of drinking it on this end, put it in the other end. Well, Eileen, one of the things I guess I have a question about that. So for myself, like I always like to clean out my system, I would frequently do like psyllium husk cleanses, you know, maybe like for a few days in a row, a few weeks in a row, whatever. But eventually like your body gets distressed from it. And I'm curious, like with coffee enemas, like you mentioned daily. So this is something you can do every day. Like you don't see any type of distress or anything from that. No. And a lot of people are saying, oh, that's going to deplete your minerals and everything else. But, you know, so I, when I became a practitioner and studied under this doctor, I had a degree to do daily saunas, daily coffee enemas. Mm. And so when I was in a car wreck and had to have knee surgery, and then later after that, when I had to get life insurance from my company, so I had all the blood work, I had all the stuff, I was in physical therapy with my knee, I mean, my blood work couldn't have been better. And uh, the physical therapist had this machine from Dr. Oz. It's like an S3 machine that measures circulating antioxidants. I had to put my hand on it. I measured higher than Dr. Oz. And they used the machine <laughs> to sell you antioxidants. They're going, what <laughs> antioxidants do you take? And I said, I don't, any, I don't take any because the near infrared sauna and the coffee enema flood your body with antioxidants. And so, you know, Maybe if somebody wasn't doing hair analysis and they were eating junk food and didn't do any supplementation, maybe doing a daily coffee enema would strip them of minerals. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's like I turn into superwoman when I do these things because, Mm -hmm. I mean, we live in a toxic world. Yes. You know, and it just, I mean, when you read the studies from those three universities of finding out why those soldiers didn't have pain, I mean, the glutathione, filling your bloodstream with free radical scavengers, turning on enzyme systems. I mean, changing the pH of your gut. So it's better for the, you know, the good guys to live. Now we know that the gut health is so important to so many things. Mm -hmm. And so I'm in a proponent of doing it. I mean, I have clients that they list all these problems on their hair analysis that they have. And I'll I'll give everybody the two-week challenge. And this is before I had my new stand-up, no mess, anybody can do it in the shower, you know, gizmo. And, you know, because people, it's hard for them to lay down and then sometimes to get up. And when you get up, you you know, you lose it everywhere because you don't have the bowel control. And But, you know, I'd get people to do that. And I mean, there are people on medications and all kinds of stuff. And like by the time a month later, when we do the consult for getting their hair analysis back, 
80% of their problems are gone and they're off their medications. And wow. then I'm cautioning them. You got to go slow when you take these supplements and minerals because you're going to detox powerfully. And the guy goes, huh, I'll just take two coffee enemas in a day. I'll be <laughs> fine. You know, I mean, it's like they sell themselves. I tell clients, mm-hmm. I'll never ask you to do a coffee enema again after if you agree to do it for every mm-hmm. day for two weeks. And now That's- I've got the gizmo that... You know, we got a glass non-toxic jar. We've got an adapter and a pump with the long hose with different attachments. So you just prime that so the hose is complete full of the coffee solution. You put it in a pump, you just take a long shower, you step out on the toilet. You know, you can stand and you can massage your ascending and transverse, you know, and hold it. Uh, the study showed, interestingly, that within 12 minutes, all the caffeine and palmitic acid had absorbed out of the rectal canal. So it was already up and done the thing. So you don't have to hold it very long to get the huge benefits. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I still recommend eating fiber and, you know, all these things. Cause if somebody just eats a crappy diet and they're constipated and they do coffee embers every day, Hey, it's going to keep them from auto absorbing all that, those toxins. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you know, for real health, we need the fiber too, because the fiber actually feeds the good guys that we want in our gut. So, I mean, there's a balance to everything. Well, I want to come back around a little bit to the photo treatment you were talking about. There's a few things that I didn't realize that was super interesting to me as you were talking, first of all, about you know, the body picking up more ATP that way or the adenine triphosphate. And, you know, as bodybuilders, it's something we're always trying to get more of because you can get those few extra reps or whatever it may be. But there's a baseball player, and I'm not sure if you're familiar with him. He's a manager now. His name is Rocco Baldelli. And he came up for the Tampa Bay Rays and he was like the next big superstar. And then all of a sudden, he could barely get up to play baseball. He had this really weird mitochondrion disorder that turned out to be like high body you know, toxic toxicity, like we've been talking about here, like how people have these toxins come into their system. And I'm curious, like when we're looking at the, the two parts of it, the amount of like toxicity we're bringing in, like how much are we actually like taking out through our skin when we're doing that? And also at the same time, like how much extra ATP is being added into the body? Well, I don't know that there's a study where they measured how much you're getting, you know, in a session sure. know, that hasn't been done. And it's not, it's just the nerd in me that always wonders these things. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. But I do have like a Nate Diaz, the UFC fighter, Gilbert Melendez. There's a lot of NFL players and major league baseball players that use my sauna every single day. I mean, they're shadow boxing in there. They're figuring out that they have less aches and pains, they recover faster, and they have more energy. Because it's just like, why do we have life on planet Earth? We have photosynthesis. Plants, humans are the same thing. That sunshine shines on you. You got 30% near infrared. And I mean, and you have this cellular exchange, you know, where you have photosynthesis. And so We have the 21st century disease. Most people are indoors all the time. Yes. And they're taking in blue blue light from screens and everything else all the time as well. And then we've been conditioned that sun is bad. So people are putting toxic sunscreens on, wearing sunglasses. So the sunlight's not going into their eyes for their pineal gland to make all these hormones and everything like that. And so we're just so darn deficient of light that. The incandescent bulb produces 550 to about 3,400 nanometers of light with a big spike in that therapeutic range of the near infrared, kind of like some of these lasers have, like the K laser, you know, they've got what, 635, 980, you know, 10, you know, 1000 or whatever. And so there's this huge spike of these beneficial rays. And with my patented panels, the light cannot leave. So it just maximizes, you know, so you compare regular light therapy to where that all the light traveling at speed of light stays in there the whole session and re just exposes your skin. That's why it's like there's different groups like the heel hive there for Lyme disease people. They're the, mine is the only sign they recommend because these people you know, they got chronic issues, they can get in there and they can feel like superwoman. 
just because of this light treatment and the sweating and the, and the mineralization. You know, there is no study that shows it, but mm-hmm. I just say people try it. I mean, it's like Nate Diaz. He has this $15,000 sauna in his house. Wow. What did he use? He uses mine because he spends <laughs> twice as much in half the time, feels more energetic. And it's just science about light. And then one other thing that people are missing the boat on mm-hmm. with saunas, because they've done studies in Europe on concentration of toxins in sweat. Somebody exercising, that's sympathetic activation of the nervous system. They measure the sweat. What's predominantly in it? Minerals, mineral loss, not toxins. Mm-hmm. You sweat in a sauna, they measure the sweat. What's predominantly in it? Tons of toxins because it's the parasympathetic state. Mm. So when you're in a sauna, does it get humid because it's hot? Absolutely. So you're breathing in toxic, humidified sauna sweat. You've worked all this hard. Oh my God. You're taking it right back into the body. Out. So I created a gizmo to solve that problem too. That just so happens, I found out later after people were saying, I don't have to use my asthma inhaler when I breathe over it. So I sent it off to the lab because I didn't create it for that. Mm -hmm. But lo and behold, my boosted circuit design, the differential between the positive and the negative ions is like 19,100,000 negative, which is good. Mm -hmm. Positive are supposed to be bad, but it's 4,550,000. So it just primes a plump of being able to clean the air from toxins. But the byproduct of that is in your sauna chamber, when you got the breeze safe, it increases background oxygen levels 70 to 118%. So not only are you cleaning up the toxic humidified sauna sweat, you're breathing more oxygen. Why do people do yoga and do breath work? To get get more more oxygen oxygen in their body. (laughs) So. Awesome. Well, Eileen, I think you may be the most intelligent guest I've ever had on here. I've really, really enjoyed this. And I feel like I've learned a ton for you. For the people listening, if they want to connect with you, if they want to you know, check out the products we've been talking about today, where's going to be the best place for our listeners to go? Createx. It's C-R-E-A-T-R-I-X is an x-ray solutions.com. And I don't know if we have time to talk about one more miracle thing that people can use. It's super simple that can help them. Yeah, let's get into it. Go for it. And it's about ozone. You hear a lot of bad rep about ozone because of the ozone layer and it's toxic to breathe. Mm -hmm. But there is a miracle when you dissolve it in water. You know, it, it's like a liquid sanitizer. It kills everything on contact. It, it's not toxic like bleach. You have to realize the body goes into adaptation mode. When we don't have enough oxygen, mm-hmm. our cells begin losing a protective enzyme coating around them. And when they lose that protective enzyme coating around them, what happens? They become susceptible to infections, to parasites, viruses, bacteria, And it's like you have certain body processes that require oxygen to function. So Mm -hmm. your body's so intelligent, it will begin the hierarchy of depriving certain cells of oxygen while maintaining others. It's kind of like your car. If your alternator's bad, you know, you can- It prioritizes where it's going to send the power. But don't drive with your headlights on. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can still drive that jalopy. Yeah, leave the air conditioner off, all that kind of stuff. (laughs) Yeah, so that's the same thing with the body with oxygen. So what's the quickest way besides breathing oxygen or exercising, getting outdoors to gain more oxygen? And that would be to drink ozonated water. Diffusing ozone gas into water is amazing. And there's tons of studies on the National Institute of Health about how it does all this stuff, anti-inflammatory and all these immune enhancements. But basically within a short period of time, it's like in nature, a pair is good, three is bad. So with three singlets of oxygen, O3, the O3 will break off and then that oxidizes things. What does the EPA do when there's contaminated groundwater? They have giant ozonators and they pump ozone water into the aquifer to break down all the toxins and clean the water. So we're mostly water. Mm -hmm. So if we drink ozonated water, 
if it's not a miracle enough to detoxify our bodies, the byproduct after that oxidation happened is pure O2. So you're boosting that oxygen metabolism in your body. So the toxic problem of breathing the ozone gas, I mean, there, for a long time, there was like a ozone air purifiers where people were putting ozone everywhere and they were like breathing. They go, oh, it makes me breathe deep. Ozone is wonderful. I love the smell. It's after a rainstorm. Well, if you have too much over 0.02 part per million, it actually damages the lipid tissues in our lungs, competes for oxygen receptor sites. So people don't realize that the reason why they're breathing deeper is their body's going, I need more oxygen. I'm not getting <laughs> oxygen. And so I have two patented ways now, utility patents, how to degas the ozone. And I have one of the products, a countertop model, where you screw on the cap, you hook your ozone generator to it, and it pumps and it diffuses the ozone gas in the water like almost 10 times as fast as other brands. And then you can drink it, you can use it to clean your foods, but it's just absolutely amazing. Some people will even follow up their coffee enema with an ozone enema. It's my machines aren't meant for encephalation. That's like the medical gas ozone treatment, but that goes up the portal vein that gets oxygen direct in the bloodstream. It's just fabulous. So that is a huge hack to add daily. Very cool. Well, Eileen, I, I thought this was extremely interesting today. So once again, our guest today has been Eileen Durfee. Eileen, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. <laughs>